This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Let's get right into the news. All right. So we got this guy is a clown, bro. Like he just exposes himself and doesn't even realize it. All right. So he's like, mind you, he's acting like he's the victim, the scorned woman here. Okay. Shanti was signed to his label and he was smashing the talent. Okay. While he was married, he had a whole family. This guy had a whole family, house, wife, kids. And he, he was cheating on her with Ashanti, right? Then he goes through his whole thing with the, the feds because really they wanted Supreme. But allegedly Supreme was getting money from Ur for legal defense. So they had to cut off the money, right? So he didn't beat the feds. They just... He eased off with the money they eased off of him. Ashanti moves on at this point. She's like, well, there's too much drama over here. I'm going with Anelli. Yo, Irv Gotti gets on Drink Champs and says, you, you know how I found out that she moved on from me with Nelly? And I'm in love with her. She showed up at a basketball game with him, and I was hurt. Dude, you were in a marriage, bro. You sound crazy right now. That was your side piece. And you you upset because she she leveled up, dude. Irv Gotti is a mess, bro. And uh, really, Fifty Cent exposed Irv Gotti and Ja Rule for who they were a long time ago. I mean, you know, they made huge things happen. I'm not saying they're lazy. I'm not saying they're not. Irv Gotti is business minded. I mean, he was able to maneuver and leverage so much stuff and create a huge business but the pettiness the this is part of what just hurt new york it's not just 50 cent going against them it's them trying to stop people they didn't like coming up like 50 cent blocking people that happened a lot in new york blocking people from trying to move forward and eventually they get around you and move forward and then it's beef it's a problem because you were trying to stop somebody from getting money getting on you know um, that so it really hurt New York hip hop. But I mean, look, even here with Mace and Fabio Foreign, it wasn't a clean deal. Whoever's you know, maybe Fabio Foreign's going a little too far, right? Because like he said, he only got five grand. Mace admitted he only got five grand. The the but then Mace also said he got seven hundred fifty thousand later. But he got seven hundred fifty thousand when Fabio Foreign got himself hot, right? Um. The, th the, the real problem here is that that that's not being addressed is Mace didn't do anything to get him hot. All he did was sign him. Five year four and got himself hot from the people he was around. Right. And Mace benefited from that. Mace can say, oh, I tried to put him on festivals and this and that. But you're doing legacy festivals rarely. Uh Mace is good money wise. Mace made a lot of hit records in the nineties. He still gets paid from. Um, Mace is a pastor who knows how pa pastors make money. Uh, it's definitely not clean. Sorry, I don't. I'm not a big fan of pastors. Um, I'm a big fan of religion. You know, of course. You know, like I believe in a higher power, um, but and I believe in God, but I. I don't like how pastors, not all of them, some of them, like the one in Brooklyn that has a decked out closet and a prayer closet that's full of Louis Vuitton, they take advantage of people's faith. <clears throat> and, um, you know, that's how I feel. I'm not saying Mace is guilty of that. I'm just saying um, it's a profession that I question. Anyways, Fabio Foreign posts up his contract. I'm sure there's things in here that would make him, you know, would point out certain things in the deal. But, you know, Mace didn't take his publishing, which is good, supposedly. That's what he says. Um, and didn't take too much percentage. So, really, Fabio can expose that, like, Mace didn't really do anything to get the money. That's cool because you don't want Mace running around thinking that, oh, he is the guy you want to sign to because he got 5 year form. It was a lucky sign because Mace didn't do anything to get him hot, okay? 
I think that's really what Fabio Foran is trying to expose here and not really that it was an unfair deal because it's not an unfair deal. DJ Khaled, hoof did. Yo, you've had, and then, you know, Lenny S supposedly, no, no offense to Lenny S, okay? Because <laughs> I like Lenny S. He says the best, but this is what, this is what DJ Khaled says. He says, best whole verse you ever heard. They always say that to hype an album up. DJ Khaled is their client, okay? So I don't blame Lenny S for saying that. This is Lenny S's job, okay? But we've had DJ Khaled Hove songs that have flopped. Was it Maybach down, top down? There's been plenty of ones that Hove and Khaled don't make classics together. The Jay Z and Nas song was cool. I rather would have heard that on a Nas album or a Jay Z album. I'm so sick of DJ Khaled. Khaled is overhyped. Okay? He's annoying. And he owes me money. DJ Khaled owes me money. 2500 Really, he owes me 5000 now because 2500 back in 2010, double that for 2022. 5,000 cash app Jordan Tower JT. Cash me. Cash at me. Jordan Tower JTF. Five grand. I won't talk about that anymore. But he owes me $5,000 from the Red Rum Red Rum videos that he never paid for. Yeah. Am I bitter about it? No, but it's a matter of principle here. Okay. Like this guy, I'll tell that story again soon. Rick Ross got refused at Buckingham Palace. Rick Ross is just joking around. He's funny. <laughs> Uh, that's it, guys. I appreciate you guys so much. This is Jordan Tower with JT News. I'll check you guys in the next one. Peace.